Hey, how you doing? Happy homebrew Wednesday. Yeah, that's right. It's Wednesday today. Actually, it might even be Thursday for you because this is late again, yet again. But I had a very busy day, and um, I had to go. My wife and I had a, a major car repair we had to deal with. <laughs> that's a whole other story. I'll talk about that in another video. Okay, um, but yeah, um, uh, kind of a, a crappy day has turned out to be f really, really gr a great day. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about it, because I've got lots for you guys this week on Homebrew Wednesday. I'm going to open this beer right now. It's not a homebrew, but I've talked about the Upper Canada Brewery um, before, and somebody last week uh, commented in the comments down below saying that uh, somehow I'm afraid to mention brand names in my videos. I'm not sure where that came from. I always show brands of Coopers and Muntins and the beers that I drink and uh, never afraid of showing labels. And, and, and he was wondering if I expect to be paid. If I'm going to show a label, should I be being paid for it? Really? <laughs> if they pay me, that's great, but I don't, I'm not afraid to show it. There. It's not a bad beer. No, I don't get paid for showing these kinds of things. I've gotten some. I've gotten free stuff from from people. I showed the Pat Max Brewing cla Caps. He sent me a few extras. You know what I mean? You know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, and you know, other things have happened since. Same same thing. But no. Um, anyways, let's open this up and get her get her rolling here. And I got the matching glass that I got from you know where. I don't want to mention the name. <laughs> Just joking. Value Village. Oh, here we go. Let's give this a pour. No, I, I do have homebrew. I do have some homebrew. Um, but my keg's getting kind of low, so I'm trying to save it for Friday for my broadcast. Um, so there you have it. Ah, cheers. Not a bad beer. For a store bought. This was bought for me, by the way. Um, Dave uh, from 17crew.com. I'm not quite sure of his YouTube name, if he's got one, but anyway, Dave, you know who you are. He sent me $35. He said, Hey, I want to buy you a case of beer. He's, he doesn't live around here. He's he's a little fur a little further away than uh, <laughs> you know than you think. Um, and he sent me $35 on PayPal. He said, Go get yourself a case of beer. Because he, he was thanking me for all my efforts. So that's what I did, Dave. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, I didn't buy this, the crappy old, you know, James Ready. Um, I bought a fairly decent store-bought. Still pretty inexpensive. And I, I stand by these guys. I like their beer. It's, it's great for a run-of-the-mill store-bought beer. Oh, there's those damn burps again. Anyways, I got some footage for you. I had to go replace my CO2 tank today for my uh, kegs. Uh, it's a 20 pound tank. Um, I don't know exactly what that means, um, whether it holds 20 pounds of CO2 or whether the tank itself is that heavy. Uh, it's, it's 45 pounds filled. I weighed it, actually. We, so I had to go down there and a friend of mine who lives around here, and he's got a little bit of a story to tell you. Um, he drove me down there. Let's take a look at this little video clip here, listen to his little story. It's quite interesting. I thought it was amusing. And uh, have a little bit of fun. Well, guys, it's time to replace the CO2 tank, which is down there. So it's getting empty. And this is this is my friend Rob. How you doing? Uh, got a little story about about uh, Rob. Actually, how we met. He. Uh, why don't you tell that story, Rob? First yeah. of all, we're going down to this the place to get the CO2, and while we're driving down here, let's let Rob uh, tell you guys how we happened upon each other. Well, that's when. Uh... I got a phone call off a website and uh, go and do a little bit of uh, renovation work on a house. And it turned out to be Craig's mother. And I didn't know that until I saw a case of uh, Carling sitting at the front door. Case of beer? Case of beer, case yeah, of Carling. Carling beer, I, said, yeah. oh, I used to drink that until I started watching this guy uh, on YouTube and homebrew stuff. And 
and she says, oh, you should watch my son's video. He, he, I said, no, no, there's only one guy I watch is uh, Craig, uh, Craig too. And she goes, that's my son. <laughs> that's crazy. And I said, well, that's, <laughs> well, there you go. I said, I can't believe you're drinking that stuff from the beer store. When, uh, you could be brewing it yourself. Just watch the videos. <laughs> You got, and you were already watching my stuff. I was watching your stuff for a year before I even went over and bought a Cooper's kit. I made the whole, uh, inmate brew first. And I uh, made a gallon of that. And then uh, a lot of people tried it and they said it was amazing. And I made a bigger batch and some people actually go and get wine made. Tried it and they said it was better than the wine that they made. I wonder what the dog's name is. Hey doggy. Well, well, you need this too, right? Yeah. yeah. Both of them are. They're stuck in my warehouse. I'm looking for some Al Gore. I get a shipment twice a week. I get one. Some what? CO2 Al Gore. Yeah. Uh, Mr. CO2. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we piss Al Gore off and just open this right up? Yeah. Shh. <laughs> Look, he's even carrying it for me. I was going to ask him about those Anderson connectors. Let me see how heavy that is. Oh yeah, it weighs about the same as a like a full propane propane tank. Now what'd you just say? It's so nice to know. At least if we crash and burn, at least when that CO2 tank goes off, it'll put the fire out for us, right? <laughs> so we're gonna crash, but we won't burn. Right? <laughs> That's nice. That should, that should work all right. We could. We might actually survive. Yep. Yeah. Well. Yeah. At least the corpses will be identifiable, right? Well, that's nice to know. <laughs> Beautiful. What year? Sixty-eight. Do you mind if the license plate gets shown? No, I don't care. Okay. Those aren't even my plates. Okay. <laughs> you put plates on it so it doesn't look like it's a vehicle. 68250S. Nice. And it's just that fender. It's, it's the only thing I put his on is the fender. Well, he's, he's quite a handy guy. He built this, uh, this deck. But he's telling me how much it costs to build it. How much? All the lumber and that came over to help me because you can't do it yourself, so total was 18 grand. Good God. That's my brewing We're in your house, this is a little brew cave there. That's kind of like what mine used to be like before I, yeah, before YouTube came along. <laughs> it stays nice and warm in there. I can, I can put a little stool there and I can do my bottling. What on? Yeah. Well, either. what did you well, use to make that? That's a Minute Maid. I'll show you. <laughs> minute Maid. Yeah. But there, there's the hydrometer. It's still sitting at. Uh, it's sitting at one. Oh, so you one put the point. whole hydrometer right in and just leave it there? Yeah. That's actually not a bad, too bad of an idea. Because yeah, I have that Cooper's one. I, I have a good mm. one, right? But it all was filled up here. It's you know. Gone been kind of dipping into it a little bit. Dipping into it. So here's the. Pretty much ready. Right? We're gonna try some. Are you actually? Gonna, yeah. You're, he's got glasses out. Okay, we're gonna do this. Give it a whirl. You might want me to taste it first so you know it's not uh, poison, right? No, I trust you. <laughs> it should it should be kind of carbonated because when I opened this, I heard it go pssst. And that's just from this morning. I siphoned that much. So it's still coal. going. I siphoned this. Yeah, it's still fermenting. It's guy, the guy done. can't wait. It's not even done yet. <laughs> he can't wait. There you go, Craig. Well, here you hold that. I haven't been. I haven't even been on this trip yet. Oh, here we go. Now you're on the trip. Right, so now he's filming. Okay. Let's give this a whirl. Oh, I recognize this smell. <laughs> yeah. Good old inmate brew. <laughs> give it a whirl. You gonna here? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, I'll take it. Cheers. Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> so that's pretty good, man. <laughs> That's good. It's not. It's not even done yet. It's not even near done. Well, it's got, it's got a you know it's got a residual sweetness to it. I mean, you might want to actually put some some um, uh, stabilizer in here to stop it because it's actually nice, not very sweet, but just enough, you know. So just that, eh? Made just made grape. Yeah. That's, that's all it takes. And what kind of yeast? Thirteen of these I put in there. Eleven eight. Eleven eight. Uh, uh, Lal Lalvin. Yeah, I put, use this. One 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 eight. At 1118, I meant. 16. 16? 
See, that might be why, yeah, okay. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not sure about the 16, but it's different than the, eight, the 18. Um, might, it might actually leave a little bit more residual sweetness. I'm not sure. I'm not a yeast expert. Yeah, because when I went to uh, Homebrew Supply there, and I, I said um, I'm making the stuff that Craig did on YouTube, the inmate brew, just using the, you know, the store-bought concentrated juice, and this is what he gave me. All right. There's I've, Craig Crate digging. I've hit, I've hit a cold mine. My hair is terrible today. Oh, my God. A gold mine. Holy... Holy, holy macaroni, records, vinyl, wow. We'll just do a quick pan around the whole. Uh, gonna, we're going we're gonna to obtain a, couple, a few of these, I think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I've already been through this pile. It's like the, the gold. No, you haven't yeah. been through that one yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, you started there. there. Keep them in the same order that they were in. Crate digging, that's what we're doing. Nobody wants CDs. Nope. Because everybody wants the vinyl. <laughs> Turn that thing off. Look at that go. Look, look at those fingers going. Oh, I'm, I'm getting arthritis doing this. I'm going to have carpal tunnel. <laughs> a sea of vinyl. It's probably about a ton of vinyl sitting right against that wall. I'm surprised the floor isn't falling through. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> well, is that like a praying mantis or something in between there? Wow. Um, I've just bottled my, uh, my sour beer. And I have a sample. Now this, um, <laughs> first of all, I'll, 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 I'll try this first and then we'll talk a little bit about my experience with this. Um, um, it's very cloudy and it wasn't like this, um, but what I did was I racked it from the primary carboy, well, little glass dummy john that I had it in, into a secondary. And uh, because it was in primary for about a month, I purposely sucked up a little bit of the yeast at the bottom um, just a little bit, just to get it so that it had something to, to carbonate it with. So that's why it looks the way it does. It didn't look like this when I was, when I brought it downstairs to do this. Um, I have smelled it and, you know, I was afraid. <clears throat> Dan said to me, Dan ABA, um, uh, Arrogant Bastardale, who sent me the ingredients for this, to do this sour beer. Um, he said, look, if you smell it and it smells bad, don't drink it. Tip it out, pour it down the drain. If it smells rotten, get rid of it. <clears throat> well, it doesn't smell rotten. It doesn't smell rotten at all. Um, it just smells like a beer. But it's got that sort of, you know, and, and of course it's going to be yeasty. It's going to have that sort of yeast. It's going to have a, a green flavor to it because, you know, I've got yeast in this. But it's, and it's not carbonated. This is flat. Although it looks kind of carbonated, but it's not. It's flat. So, um, it's got kind of a, uh, some sort of a floral effervescence. I can't describe it. Um, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, and, and this is live. I have not tasted this. Okay. Sour beer. First time ever. It's not carbonated. It's flat, but we're just going to give it a sample to see how it may turn out. I can use my imagination to add the carbonation in my head because I've done that a lot of times. So, and then we'll talk about the bottling experience after I try this. Anyways, let's go. Cheers. 17. I like it. Success. <laughs> I love that. It's sour. It's sour beer, but it doesn't taste infected or um, like rotten or anything. You just expect, you know, a sour beer, one you left out overnight, and the next day you went to smell a glass and it was like, ugh, ugh, pour that out. It's not like that. It almost has like a savory flavor to it um like it almost tastes like a sauce like some sort of a marinade or something that you would use it's it's quite good 
And this is it's only going to get better with carbonation and with time, with age. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm happy. That's good. It's going to be good. Yeah, that's good. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't describe it to you. You're going to have to look up a sour beer. Um, half of Eisen or whatever. And, and, um, and, and find out what it's... It, it's just, it's, it's not sweet. It doesn't taste like, um, like beer the way you normally would expect it to taste like. Because it's not sweet at all. It's kind of, it's kind of, it almost tastes like soup or something. It's almost got almost a slight, almost a salty sort of flavor to it. But it doesn't taste like vinegar. It doesn't taste like stinky socks or anything like that. Um, uh, it, it just, it, it's, um... You could you could almost like you could add that to us to a, a recipe like a stew or something, and it would it would add a flavor. It would be like a like a broth. That's the only way I can describe it. Now you should have seen me when I was bottling the thing. Because I haven't bottled in a couple of years, you know, and I bottled like for so long for so many years. It was like you know I wouldn't even look what I was doing. I was just doing it, you know, and it was so routine and so motor memory. And I haven't done it in so long that when I was bottling this, and it was only five bottles, five 750 milliliter bottles, and the last bottle didn't quite fill all the way, so I don't know what's going to happen to that one, probably oxidized. But anyway, um, I was like, it was almost like the first, do you remember your first time ever bottling a beer? All of the OCD that I, that I lost over the years from bottling so much, so, so often, came back. It was like, okay, you know. Is this, you know, I'm getting it right, you know? And I, 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 I siphoned it from the first container to the second. And I hadn't sugared the bottles yet. I haven't primed the bottles yet. I didn't want to put the siphoning hose down anywhere and let it get contaminated. So I, I called my son Jacob down. I, I made him dip his hand in the star sand. And I said, here, hold this hose for a few minutes while I prime my bottles. So he stood there and held that. And then I took it from him and I did the bottling and put the caps on it. But, I mean, cleaning the bottles and sanitizing them and everything. Um, uh, it was like, jeez, oh, I'm glad I'm not doing this anymore. This is, you know, a pain in the butt. But anyway, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And, um, yeah, I'm, I can't wait to taste that when it's done. It's going to be a couple of months um, in the bottle. So maybe I'll crack one open in about a month to see, you know, how it's doing. All right, so, th you know what, some more things I thought about after that was, you know, those strub pickles, the strubs, you know, those sour pickles. That's what it kind of reminded me of. Um, it, it wasn't that sour. Of course, I love those pickles. I love strubs. But it, it wasn't that sour. But it had that sort of a, you know, a, a, a characteristic to it. Um, I also, another thing that came to my mind after I stopped the camera was, was that it's, it's sort of a, it's kind of daring. The whole fun of tasting that even though it was, wasn't carbonated and it's not quite ready yet, it was that daring. Like, this is a sour beer. You don't think of beer supposing to be sour, you know? Supposing? Okay. <laughs> Take two. No, just joking. But you don't think about that, uh, about a sour beer. But I'm telling you right now, that was very savory and very, very nice and very interesting, and I'm, I'm going to love it when it's ready. I know it. Oh, you ask, what vinyl did you get, you ask? I knew you were going to ask that question. I did pick up some vinyl from that guy, actually. I've already played all these, not all the way through, but I've played them to see how they're, what shape they're in. John Lennon. What's it? Double Fantasy. Beautiful condition. And they all have these uh, plastic sh shields on them, too. Sheaths. Sleeves. So the guy who owned these took very good care of them. We've got Tom Petty in the house. Yeah, this is this one's got uh, Free Fallen, uh, Don't Back Down, great album, and it's in immaculate condition. That's a great one too. The Police. This one sounds fantastic. It's got great tunes on it. It's one of their classic albums. I'll be playing these on my broadcast this Friday. U2. Not a huge fan of U2, but this is one of their more popular records. Again, sounds wonderful. Couple of classics here, Led Zeppelin. This one doesn't sound too bad. It's a little worse worse for wear. But it's still pretty good. Billy Idol. Okay. 
great sounding record that right there that one's good this one's immaculate this one's the one with jump on it van halen you know you can't have a record collection if you don't have one of these right am i right or am i right sounds amazing super tramp i've been looking for this album for years there it is crisis what crisis some of these a couple of these records need a little bit of cleaning I can do that. I'm very happy, and I was very happy to pay the guy a couple bucks each. That's all he wanted uh, for for the for those records. He's got a, you saw how many he had. So um, and uh, and that. So there there's there you go. I, I've had a I've I've had an interesting day. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Okay. Um, I think I should probably get going. Um, we'll just quickly say, hey guys, thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, please subscribe. Do all that stuff if you haven't already. Um, 17crew.com if you have any questions about home brewing I'd love to hear from you there I'm there pretty often almost every day so you can ask me questions there or the massive uh, homebrew brain that we've got over there with all our great homebrewers they'd be happy to help you as well um, tgtshirts.com if you want a t-shirt it's all there I gotta go guys take care cheers 17 be safe I'm out